If you, if you don't know my name, you, you're a bum. You're a real bum, and you're not a boxer. Errol Spence, that's I'm, his name. I'm taking out everybody. If you're not here, you're a bum. That's you don't want to see me fight Terrence Crawford. I'll beat that boy ass. Yeah. Tell Bob how I am. Tell Bob how I am. What's going on, you guys? Where is Errol Spence? Where in the hell is Errol, the truth, Big Fish Spence Jr.? We haven't really seen him in quite some time. Now, he has been doing some social media stuff. But when it comes to actual his career or what he's doing, fans really just don't know. And with Blair to Flair Cobbs recently coming out, Attacking Errol Spence. I mean, he came for Spence in a <laughs> pretty unique way, to say the very least, right? And if you haven't seen it, um, go check it out. It's my more recent video prior to this one. But Errol Spence essentially is looking like Keith Thurman right now. Remember, this happened to Keith Thurman when Errol Spence came on the scene, and it seemed like Eddie and everybody were just dissing and downplaying Keith Thurman. And now Errol Spence Jr. is in the same boat. Where is Errol Spence, man? Where is Errol Spence to set the record straight? Where is Errol Spence to provide his fans some closure as to far as the... Because his fans been out here for weeks taking bullets, right? Taking bullets without any bulletproof vest on, and he has yet to tell them to fall back. He can't be found. Then this fight with Crawford is looking like it's not going down. It's looking like it's not going down in 2022. Will it even happen at all? Who knows, right? I guess we go have to wait and see how negotiations progress in the next coming months or whatever, right? But where's Errol Spence, man? Where's Errol Spence? I've been looking for this dude. I've been looking for this dude for weeks. I've been looking for legitimate response to some of this stuff that's been going on right and now he may not be in liberty to speak on the negotiations but how about you give us one of those cryptic tweets bro give us one of those cryptic tweets to decipher give your fans a cryptic tweet to decipher because they they, they scrambling out here they trying to find any kind of way to spin the current narrative right now and it's, it's just not gonna work why because it reached mainstream it reached mainstream. ESPN. You got guys like Michael Buffer coming out, giving his thoughts on the Crawford Spence fight. It seems like everybody's leaning towards what's going on with Terrence Crawford. The transparency, the expenses. If this, all this stuff is true, Errol Spence needs to come out and, 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 and fix it, set it straight, right? When you look at Crawford's family, they seem to be pretty annoyed. They seem to be pretty annoyed that this thing ain't going down yet. A lot of fans looking at it, are they, are they aging Crawford out? 35 years old now. Of course, he's going to be 35 years old regardless, but we still hasn't got this fight. Where's Errol Spence? We had his fans coming out here. Say something, bro. Like his fans is practically begging him to come out and say something, bro. Say something. You even got some people, some fans, some former fans that's kind of turning left cheek to him now. Because they just can't no longer rap with this behavior, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I like Errol Spence. And this is why I'm questioning, like, bro, you need to come out here and say something, dog. Because it's a far cry from what it was back in the day when you was the boogeyman. Because now you looking like Keith Thurman out here. Even Keith Thurman is calling you out. Blair the Flair Cobbs is calling you out. You got to answer that. You got to address that Blair the Flair Cobbs shit, bro. 
Some dudes say, oh, you you co-signing a clown shit. I ain't co-signing anything. If anything, you co-signing a dude that's acting like a coward right now. There's no way in hell Blair the Flair cop should went up on camera and did all that and said all that to Arrow the Truth, Big Fish, Spence Jr. You ain't sitting that high up at the top of the mountain. You ain't sitting that high, bro. There's still a lot of shit going on down here, bro. So where you at? Because your name ain't looked at in a positive light right now. And this is actually pretty surprising, considering Errol Spence is a beloved fighter, in my opinion. Silence means compliance. So is this stuff true with Terrence Crawford? Terrence Crawford did everything everybody asked of him. So I ain't trying to hear no 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 negative shit about Terrence Bud Crawford. Yeah, he may have shouldn't have signed with Bob Arum at that particular time, but we all way past that now. He did everything else he was supposed to do. So why don't we get in this fight in 2022? It's crazy, man. Your old Spence fans should be concerned. We haven't seen him on IG since like August 30th. It's already October. He just went dark. Is he training? Is he preparing? Is he getting his mind right? What is the big fish doing? Is he getting prepared for that fight? Is he getting prepared for the biggest fight of his life against Terrence Bud Crawford? Because let's be honest, what Sergey Lipinis said the other day on social media, Sergey Lipinis seemed to be getting involved with the narratives and the politics. But he said, look, man, if Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford don't fight, Errol Spence is going to have to fight Jerome Boost Ennis for even less money. And then what? He also mentioned that Terrence Crawford is the best welterweight in the world. But people looking at Errol Spence like, bro, do you really want to fight this guy? Did you really want to fight this guy? Is Al Heyman really the reason why? Do Al Heyman and the powers that be believe that you could really beat Terrence Crawford? You got to come out and say something, bro. Yeah, Terrence Crawford came out and said some things, right? It was somewhat subliminal, but we know what he meant. He named off his accolades. He pretty much championed the fact that he accomplished a lot in the sport, right? Pretty much saying, like, look, man, if this fight don't happen, I already did all I already did. I already done all this throughout my career. So I'm pretty much a Hall of Fame. Boom, mic drop. So I get the vibe from him that they, he's there waiting on Spence and them to find out what the hell is going on. There's a bunch of frustrated folks. So what's good with Errol Spence, man? Where you at, bro? Yeah, I know you listen to these videos. Yeah, I know you do, bro. But where you at, dog? You part of this story. You one of the main characters in the story. And you ain't nowhere to be found. Like, subscribe, holler your boy. Peace out.